So the main course objectives and goals for this quick course are very simple. I want to first grow you a interest in process modeling, understanding why it's so important and how can we use Aspen Heises in our advantage in order to model such processes. Also, as the name implies, this is an introductory course. So we're going to see the very basics of a process simulation. What we want to do is get more into the modeling part and I want you to understand the importance of these tools. Also, we're going to see technical stuff such as setting the minimum or adequate physical properties, which as stated before, is a component list plus the package. Then we go to general flow sheet concepts, how to manipulate it, how to add or remove streams, either material streams, energy streams, and so on. We get a little bit more on the manipulation, such as removing, adding blocks, which are technically unit operations, which are right here. We're going to see some very common unit operations. Remember that the more unit operations you can model, the more real life processes you will be able to model. We are also going to understand how to run the simulation, how to avoid errors and warnings, and eventually we want to see the results. After the results, it's time to analyze it, and we're going to do that via some case studies. We're going to see what is the effect of certain, uh, let's say, conditions and how it changes our process. So that will be the course objectives. Essentially, once again, I want you to have a greater interest in process modeling.